Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts with a broken heart, anger, indignation, fear. I can't believe what's happening in this country. I'm going to read Jeremiah chapter 5. I want you to hear what God's feelings are towards a country that turns its heart away from God. Piece by piece, bit by bit, we are turning from God to the weak and beggarly elements of nonsense. And we think it's okay. You're okay. I'm okay. Everything is okay. And no, it ain't okay. Listen to this. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem, and see now, and know, and seek in the broad places thereof, if ye can find a man, if there be any that executeth judgment, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. This is God speaking. And though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. O oh Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Therefore, I said, surely these are poor. They are foolish, for they knew not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their God. I will get me into the great men and will speak unto them, for they have known the way of the Lord and the judgment of their God, but these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bombs. Wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them, and a wolf of the evening shall spoil them. Every one that goeth out thence shall be torn in pieces because their transgressions are many and their backslidings are increased. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. When I had fed them to the full, they then committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlot's houses. They were as fed horses in the morning. Everyone neighed after his neighbor's wife. Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord? And shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Get ye up upon her walls and destroy, but make not a full end. Take away her battlements, for they are not the Lord's. For the house of, I will, I'm going to replace it with our country. For the nation of America and the house of the United States have dealt very treacherously against me, saith the Lord. They have belied the Lord and said, it is not he, neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword or famine. And the prophets shall become wind, and the word is not in them. Thus shall it be done unto them. Wherefore thus, saith the Lord God of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. Lo, I will bring a nation upon you from far, O house of the United States, saith the Lord, it is a mighty nation, it is an ancient nation, and a nation whose language thou knowest not, neither understandest what they say. That's already happening in this country, you guys. Listen to this. Their quiver is an open sepulcher. They are all mighty men. And they shall eat up thine harvest and thy bread, which thy sons and thy daughters shall eat. They shall eat up thy flocks and thine er thy herds. They shall eat up thy vines and thy fig trees. They shall impoverish thy fenced cities, wherein thou trustest. 
with the sword. Hmm. Nevertheless, in those days, saith the Lord, I will not make a full end with you. And it shall come to pass when ye shall say, Wherefore doeth the Lord our God all these things unto us? Then thou shalt answer them, Like as ye have forsaken me, and serve strange gods in your land, so shall ye serve strangers in a land that is not yours. Declare this in the house of Jacob, and publish it in Judah. Now, you know, before I go any further, I got to say this. This may be America right now, baby cakes, but guess what? It's getting to the point where it's being pulled out, out from under us every single day. More and more power is given to a foreign entity that is not in agreement with the foundation this country was built on, with all its errors, with all its it's 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 fallacies and all the mistreatments of the American Indians and the Africans and all of that. It was still based on God, even with the error and 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 the perpetuation of godly counsel in the Bible and and Christianity, faith in God. But guess what? We are selling. We're prostituting our country to people from other countries. So we may not have to go to another country to be taken over. We could be easily taken over in our own country. And it's happening bit by bit by bit. There's a chipping away and a chipping away. We can't have prayer in schools. Then we have to have uh, marriage between homosexuals. Then we have to allow all kind of freedoms next. The next thing you know, they have a temple of Satan, but we can't have God's name on a courtroom, a staircase. We can't have God in God bless America on the top of a cafe. We can't have prayer. What the heck are you doing to this country? You're pissing it away or nonsense because of money. And in the meantime, we are digging a pit that we may never come out of if you don't stop now. You better get your act together and get back with God. In 2 Chronicles 7.14, it says, this is God speaking, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. But no, no, we have to be equal opportunity for everybody when other nations won't allow us in with our God, but we allow everybody else in with their gods. And what ends up happening is different people get in power who don't believe in our God and they're chipping away at the foundation of our country. And if the foundation goes, what's next? We can become slaves. We can become servitude in our own land being run and owned by others from other countries who don't give a diddly squat about our God. And the sad part is most of you in this country are getting to the point where you don't give a diddly squat about them either. You wouldn't know him if he walked up and stuck his finger up your nose. Declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah, saying, Hear now this, O foolish people without understanding, which have eyes and see not? Are we blind or what? Which have ears and hear not? No, we turn a deaf ear. We tell the Lord in his word and, and the people of God, 
Talk to the hand, baby. You can't tell me how to live my life because I want to screw who I want to screw, do who I want to do, be what I want to be, and I don't give a flying you know what, what God thinks about it. Don't even believe there is a God. So there it is. Verse 22. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual degree that it cannot pass it. He tells the water how far to come. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. But this people has a revolting and a rebellious heart, and they are revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart, let us now fear the Lord our God that giveth rain both to the former and to the latter. Excuse me, both the former and the latter in his season. He reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned away these things and your sins have withholden good things from you. And we wonder why cancer's running rampant. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay in wait as he that set its snares. They set up a trap. They catch men. Excuse me. <laughs> as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. They are waxen fat. Oh, they shine. Yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy, do they not judge? Shall I not visit th for these things, saith the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing. When they say wonderful, it's like uh, uh, fearsome. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means, baby. And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? Huh? Yeah, I'm adding a huh? Think about that. Think about that. And you, you, you look at the countries that are being attacked. In this country, oh, we don't need people attacking us. We got parents killing their kids, wives killing husbands, husbands killing wives and the kids, mothers stabbing their kids, fathers shooting. I mean, it's getting ridiculous almost on a daily basis. And you look at the kids who are out of control. They don't have any respect for their parents. They don't have any respect for authority. And you are the ones that chose to remove God out of the schools and all the percepts of the Bible. And you wonder why the kids are growing up like wild weeds, like hellions. Well, baby, you've opened the door to hell. When you close the door to God, you made a choice. You opened the doors to hell. And you think God's going to keep a hedge of protection around this country? He says in many scriptures, warning nations, because of your sin, I will remove the hedge. We better be careful, you guys. Now, I thank God for the saints that are true and blue. Because there is a certain level of miraculous protection for those of us who are clinging to God, who are standing for God, who will not bow to Baal, who will not bow to the new world order, who will not bow to this nonsense, this money game, to the to the, the chip and the and and the uh and the mandatory inoculations and all the silliness. While they're, while they're mandating all this nonsense, they're steadily erasing God. Now, they don't want to sing in God. 
We don't want God's name in national anthems. We don't want God's name in baseball games. We don't want his name up in neon lights. But we can see F-U-C-K-Y-O-U anywhere. We can see titties bouncing buck naked. We can see all kind of screwing on the internet. Oh, they're all over the place on Facebook. You hit the wrong thing and you got all kind of X-rated nonsense on there. But nobody's fighting against that. Nobody's in court saying we should not have that. We don't want that. No, they don't want the good God, but they want all the nasty gods doing their nasty thing so that we don't have to be told what to do. We want to do the dirty. We don't want a God telling us we can't do it. We want to screw Tom, Dick, Harry, Sally, Sue, and Mary. We don't want God in our business. We want him to mind his own business and, and get his heels to clicking. We'd rather have the fake gods so we can do whatever it is our imaginations can tell us to do. Some of y'all will screw the devil before you talk to the Lord. It just makes no sense. What are we doing? This society is literally rotting away. And like the Bible said, my people love to have it so. What's up with that, you guys? What happened to love? What happened to joy, to peace, to truth, to honor, integrity? What happened to holiness, righteousness, the most holy faith? What happened to that? What happened to our love for God and his ways? What happened to our love for each other? What happened to <clears throat> boundaries? What happened to laws of righteousness? What happened to standards? What's up with that? Don't you realize that we're tearing down our own country? Don't you realize that? See, what, what you don't get is the more you take away from God, the more you turn your back on God, the more you silence your ear to anything that God has to say or anything that pertains to God, you are opening your windows, your doors, your behinds, your legs, your mind, everything. You're opening up for, de for demonic activity. Demonic activity. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. God says, I have come to give you life. Life more abundantly. But no, we want the darkness rather than light. Because we want to rub on some boobs. We want to get us some nookie whenever we want it. We want to masturbate till we, till we peel the skin off of it. I mean, come on, you guys. What are we turning into? Animals ourselves? What's up? What's going on in your minds? I don't know what else to say, y'all. I really don't know what else to say. But this country really needs to repent. I can't find the scripture. I'm not sure if I'm quoting it right. But righteousness exalts a nation, not sin. Sin tears it down. Sin destroys. And if you don't want to call it sin, then what you're doing is calling righteousness sin and sin righteousness. You're calling evil good and good evil. And that kind of lie will bring nothing but death, destruction, famine. <sighs> you don't want to see the word fulfilled that says, you will reap the whirlwind. You don't want to see that in this country. You don't want to see a time when we can't pray publicly. You don't want to, I mean, we're there, but you don't want to see a time where people get long, hard sentences, but they can rape somebody and get out in a few months. You don't want to see that. Next thing, pedophilias will be saying, well, I have a, a human right to love whom I want to love. 
And women and men will be saying, well, I don't want to marry a human being. I want to participate in bestiology. I like screwing my dog, my horse, my elephant. I mean, it just gets more and more ridiculous how far down the spiral are you willing to go? How nasty are you willing to let this thing get? Huh? Ask yourself, do you really want this country to go down like that? All I can say is for those people who still trust in God, believe in God, even halfway believe in God, even those of you who aren't sure, please cry out to him. Because if you don't, baby, the demons are going to be on the loose. They're going to be in animals. When it talks about lions and all that crap coming out, oh, it's going to get crazy. It's going to get really, really crazy. And only the saints who have power with God will have the ability to bind a lion, to bind a wolf, a coyote, a cat, a wild cat. Bind them babies in the name of Jesus and they cannot attack you. But those of you who want it your way, who where the Bible says my people love to have it so, all of you who want it the way it's going down the the the, the endless spiral, you'll have no power. You'll have no hedge of protection. You'll start getting diseases they never heard of. I'm done. I'm done because I, I, I just don't get it. I, I don't get why we would put down a loving God. And I mean he is loving. Just because we don't want a boundary or two in our life. Just because we don't want to follow rules. Well, baby, you're going to have to serve somebody. And if you're not serving God, you're going to serve the godless that infiltrate this country and make your life a living hell. You make your choice. I made mine. And it's God all the way. <laughs>